welcome back to Non-League Diaries, episode 51. Last, last week was actually episode 50, I mean it just feels like we've been doing this for so long, but episode 50, 50 straight weeks at the football club um, that you've now come to learn so much about. Um, incredibly uh, useful sneezing there uh, in the background. And uh, yeah, we're here, FA Vars, um, big game. Um, because you know we, we've made no bones about the fact that we're trying to go as far as we can in this competition. It's really important to us. Um, but Millbrook are no team uh, to be sniffed at. Like they're they're playing at a level below us in the Wessex side in Hampshire. But they are a team that you know have got nothing to lose today and are going to come and put it all on the pitch. And I think Jono said it in his post-match interview last week. Is like they're gonna they're gonna want this. They're gonna run hard. They're gonna tackle hard. They're gonna make this. You know, into a into a scrap, and and that's the sort of cut football we're looking for here. And also, after 90 minutes, it goes straight to penalties. So, it is it is a difficult competition to progress in the Vars because one mistake can lead to penalties, and penalties it's 50-50, whoever you are. So, I'm excited, but I'm nervous. Last week I was I was in a position where I just didn't feel any nerves. I knew that it wasn't. It, it, it was a game that was important as an occasion, whereas today it's important that we get through. So hopefully the boys are up for it and we can put on a good performance and we can get through to the next round of the FA Vars. What's my challenge? Lewis Flatman. He might hit Elliot in the head. Too much. Oh, oh. Wow, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you wanted to say. <laughs> what did I tell you, Jack? Magic <laughs> happens. Baby's back. Did you get your concrete right this time? I wasn't involved, so yeah. <laughs> Spot on. <laughs> Spot on. <laughs> New greenkeeper shed. Then out the back, a medical slash physio room, kit room slash John O and Jimmy's getting dressed room. It's not, it's, it's a really room. big space. We're standing in what is like the food court area, which is going to get developed. Now we've got the toilets there. We're going to have a food truck go in here sort of early October. So this will be all this space where all this equipment is. And then this, yeah, groundsman shed. It's just going to replace that horrible um, shipping container, which didn't really fit in with the vibe of everything else we're doing. But it, it, it stood yeah. the test of time, did, did its job. But now we're redeveloping the whole ground. It's just, just not the right aesthetic. No. This will look great. And we can now get insurance on our, our mowers because in the past they've just been stuck outside, um, which is a risk for theft. So now with the roller shut doors and the alarms, we can, we can get some better kit. Uh, this will all get knocked out. It will allow us to um, bring, bring the line back and then in the future, if we wanted to ex extend this stand further yeah, down yeah, we as well. Yeah, go all the way across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. great, it's great. Yeah, everyone's like done an incredible job getting this up and good. This has been like six, couple, couple six, eight months worth of work, like to get it to this point. Yeah, plan, getting the planning, four months. Uh, then you've got getting the football foundation to back you with a grant, which they have done. Uh, so they'll 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 uh, account for probably seventy percent of it. But yeah, we're a couple of weeks off now. Doesn't really look like a lot there, but it it will it will be smart. Yeah, good, good. Um, looking forward to it. Uh, competition that we want to, get, like I said last week, we want to go far in. You know, the boys want to go far in. And um, we've got a stiff test today. The Vars in the league, you know, that, that's that's where our tension's at. But it can be taken away if you like, so quick, you know, come five o'clock, you know, we could could just be league. So we've got to make sure we're prepared and we're right and we're ready to go for um, a, a battle today. So you can't, you can't, you know, rely on penalties. Um, we, we've got some good penalty takers in the group, but it's... It's in the moment. Um, we want to get it done in 90 minutes, and I'm sure they they are the same. We've had them watched. We've had our own work done. You know, we've got BAs on them. Um, they're a side that score goals. Um, they like to attack. They they're not scared to mix it up and let you know they're there. Um, you can see by the results they, they like scoring goals. They had a great result in the first round. Um, we were side in, in the same same level as us at the top of the Wessex League. So it's one we can't take lightly. Yeah, Josh has come in. Um, again, you know, it's going to give stiff competition to the squads. We've, we're just carrying a lot of injuries at the moment, and players almost back, nearly back. And we've got a, we've got a run of games coming up. You know, a lot of games coming up uh, Tuesday, Saturday, and it's one we just felt we had to bring in um, the timing of it 
I think you know, guys, guys about, but he's from actually starting. He's a few weeks away. Daz is back today. Trains Thursday with no issues. Flat, he's back. But again, you know, these boys have had months out, uh, month out, months out, and Josh is ready to go. Smithy breaking his wrist last week. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a great addition to us. Yeah, Josh, Josh can play left back. His natural position is a centre half, um, but he can fill in at left back. So we're using today at left back. Um, yeah, happy to get him in. I'm super excited to be here. <laughs> I can already tell that it's a good club. Um, uh, strong following, uh, really well ran. Um, a lot of resources, and I think resources to win, that's what you need. Organisation, everything that I can see here is tuned in to hopefully being successful. I uh, played with him uh, at Walton, played with him at Hayes, and um, we've stayed strong friends since. Yeah, Lids called me, said he had spoken to the manager, said would I be interested. Um, I was at Hayes before, and uh, there's a bit, of a, bit, a bit of a tumultuous period, so I thought, why not? And uh, I can already tell that hopefully it's a good decision. Yeah, are you assistant manager? I am assistant manager, yeah. You're going to have to get your mic'd up and everything. I, I, apparently I'm getting mic'd up now as well, yeah. <laughs> the only problem is I don't know anything about football tactics. Like, I'm old school, but... Be kick a bit of fun, wouldn't it? Yeah, kick the ball, run after the ball, keep yeah, the ball. Yeah, I'll make a couple of substitutions, a couple of formational changes. Hopefully we won't have anything too dramatic to work with anyway, so it should be all good. Yeah, it's a different game to last week, obviously. Um, from my perspective, last week was great because um, sort of our data and everything jumped to match the level that we're playing, which is really fantastic. So um, we've progressively been outputting higher every week and we made a significant change uh, and jumping output on Saturday, which is good because we want to be able to sort of mix it with teams at that level, um, physically as well as the football side of things, but physically we did, which is brilliant. Um, obviously there's a bit of fatigue, so we did some active recovery sort of remotely on Tuesday, which is great. That sets up for a good session Thursday where we just did some sort of movement development and sort of recovery stuff again. Jono and the boys did their stuff with the ball. So yeah, we're in, in a good place. Obviously a different game, um, different opponents, different feel, but that's why we're here, isn't it? Still the cup we want, so yeah, good. Daz has basically released. So Daz had sort of his explosive kicking muscles were a bit tight and a bit sore, and a bit frazzled basically. So we've let them release and relax. Um, and he performed really well at training. So he's hopefully in the clear and yeah, Flatty's ability to load his calf and the endurance in his calf is up. Um, they've released as well. Um, he's pain free. We did a bit one-to-one -one on Thursday and he, he came through that really well. Um, so I don't know if, you know, whether he's starting or on the bench, but he's definitely involved. So yeah, really happy. Slowly but surely coming back. Sad about Tom's wrist, obviously, but we'd rather he did a wrist than a knee or an ankle. So that could have been worse. Uh, and then guys, you know, sticking to his protocol and hopefully on the road back, yeah. Last match, broken wrist, goal line clearance right at the end. Well, it was between me and Max, I think Max cleared it, so it wasn't even worth me uh, hitting the deck for it. But yeah, just fell on it awkwardly, um, which is just so frustrating because obviously it doesn't affect me playing football, but I can't play with a broken wrist at the moment. So yeah, it's one of them ones, it's lucky that it's not long term, but unlucky that it kind of feels like I can play, but obviously I can't. So um, yeah, got the strapping on at the moment. This boy's giving me stick look already. But yeah, no, I've got the strapping on, so we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully, sort of, you know, three or four weeks and I can get back playing and just strap it up. But, but yeah, that's that one, mate. So three's been <laughs> taken for today. Yeah, Josh, new lad stepping in. Um, yeah, again, don't know much about him, but, you know, it'll, it'll be a good addition to the squad. You know, brings wealth of experience from, I think he's played League Two. So, yeah, he's, you know, good lad coming in and he can play anywhere back uh, across the back four, which, you know, which is good, which helps us. Um, you know, pretty versatile. So yeah, should, yeah. I'm looking forward to see how he gets on. Hopefully not too well left back though. <laughs> how is it in your head when you're playing that you're like, if I go up for this challenge and I break my wrist or something, yeah. that might affect my job? And um, it, I don't really think about that too much, to be honest. Um, you know, I'm, I work in an office, so it, you know, if I get any bad injuries, it shouldn't affect me too much. I know some of the lads, you know, if you've got more of a physical job, you know, labourers, chippies, roofers, anything like that, you know, it affects them a lot more. But I guess where me, you know, being in an office in recruitment, it's it's not as bad. So no, it doesn't really play on my mind much. I don't I don't change decisions at football that would stop me from doing things at work like that. So no, no, not really. Come from France. It took a lot longer than we thought it would take, uh, but it's in and uh, 
Yeah, it just takes that ground up a, a little notch, I think. It looks quite smart. Mick and Lofty will be happy because I think when the game's sort of coming to a close, a lot, they've got a lot of traffic out the front. So, um, yeah, that tunnel will sort of cut that out. So, yeah, good, a good addition down here. Were you here? No, no. There you are. I was, I was on the beach in Ibiza, oh, live streaming, which is... Um, no yeah, since um, the the lads have come up, come across to the club, um, it's been a been a great addition. Uh, like it's quite surreal to be able to go anywhere in the world and on some games be able to watch Farnham Town Football Club. Um, so yeah, I, I, I enjoyed the game. I thought um, we, we we done really well. I, and yeah, it could, it could have been a draw, but um, yeah, I, th I think I think we gave it everything and and. The boys got to be happy with that. Um, now we've got now we've got the Vars and the uh, the league to focus on now. It's it's mad. I, I remember when I first got involved speaking to Paul Tanner, and you know, from he, he's been here a lot longer than me, and sort of our aim was 500, and um, within a couple of years we we're sort of getting to that, and then and then in, in probably the last year and a half or so we've had a few games where we've we've gone a thousand plus, and we just don't know what's going to turn up each week like it's it, we try and guess the attendances but like who knows like we, we could get a good crowd today but it feels like our our sort of fan belt base has sort of like slowly grown like a bacteria sort of people come down here then they bring their friends along and, and sort of one fan becomes two fans and two becomes four and uh, I think what's, for, for me the, the best thing is seeing the, the kids down here like kids buying shirts like we we capture them at a young age um, they can play for the club all the way up until they're 72 with the walking football team and that, that for me is the most important thing is ca capturing them young and, and this becoming their club they support. Well, just, just make you aware, yeah, cutting the boys. It's Simbins, yeah, today in our league. Yeah, so you mouth off to referee, he puts you in the Simbin for 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so be, be careful. Fucking leave the referee alone. Yeah, expect him to be terrible, and we just get on with our jobs. You don't get second chances. Yeah, so make sure now you're fucking right up for it. Yeah, you're right up for it, and we're in the next fucking round. No fucking silly leg ups. No fucking stupid thinking. Oh, it's all right. He gets out of jail. He gets out of jail. No, we're all fucking on it from the word go. From the word go, we're all on it. We put it in. We compete. We fucking demoralise them, and then we're playing, and we continue to play. If I see you walking back, if I see you walking back, you're coming on to the bench. Yeah, the bench is good. And that goes for anyone walking around. You fucking dig in. If fucking Jackson bombs it in, Cookie fucking gets back in for him. But every time that ball goes dead, we're bang, we're banked up. Yeah, we're not a fucking sloppy 4 3 3. Get it? Well, let's go and fucking go. Come on. And here come the teams for today's FA VAR second qualifying round match between Farnham Town and Millbrook. There's a great cross in. Oh, it's come off the defender's head. It falls to Jackson on his left foot. It's gone behind for a corner. Kanane plays it forward to Adam Little. Keepers at his goal, Owen Dean. And he's put it in. Millbrook will complain, but you've got to play to the whistle. Adam Little collided with the keeper. He was entitled to go for it. Owen Dean put the ball in and it's Farnham Town 1, Millbrook 0. Farnham have got 4 on 4 here. It's played out to Owen Dean who plays it first time into Joe Jackson. Jackson! Wide. It's Karoma leading the break. Karoma plays in Adam Little. Little's 1 on 1. He cuts back. He scores. Adam Little with his first goal for Farnham Town. Farnham double their lead on the break. Targets Adam Little, but he loses out. Karoma sweeps up. It's Adam Little again. Played the ball in. Falls to Shamal Edwards. It's Joe Jackson. Where's he popped up from? He's played Shamal Edwards. And it's three. 
Shamal Edwards tucks away the third for Farnham Town. Very unselfish from Joe Jackson. Oh, and Dean. It's an inch pass. It's Shamal Edwards bearing down on goal. And he slots it in. It was an inch perfect pass from Owen Dean. Shamal Edwards took a touch, rolled it past the goalie. Oh, it's a risky ball. Jack Dean's first to it. He might have found Shamal Edwards. It's Harry Cooksley. It's five. Farnham round off an impressive first half display with a fifth. Hey, well done. Yeah, five nil. Well, job's done, isn't it? Job's done. You done it, but I think you've got to realise I don't think we're good enough. We're good enough, and it's hard, it's hard thing to say. You're thinking five nil, am I talking stupid? Yeah, I don't think as a group, yeah, we've been nowhere near good enough with the quality that we've got in here. Yeah, congratulations, well done, you're five nil, right? But the standards are higher than what we're producing. The passing slack, it's poor. It's flicks, it's behind people, it's not in front of people to drive on. It's been, it's been sloppy, it's been sloppy. Goals have been good, in like individual moments have been good, but now you've got a test, right, of how good you can be, right? Everything's in there off and it's one, two touch yeah, and it's quick. Yeah, it's incisive and it's going in behind and it's running and it's running hard and it's calling someone in and you going in somewhere else. Yeah, all in, in a change in play and you have to be on it, right? It has to be, right? It has to be two, three touch now, right? Because they're going to do some super tackles. You've seen it coming towards the end. As soon as you start taking three, four and your head goes down, you're going to get clattered. You're going to get clattered and you could get hurt. Yeah, so you have to be on it. Don't shy away from it and and think, oh, I'm safe, we're five nil up. It's one, two, and they can't get near you. And then it goes seven, it goes eight, it goes nine. I expect it to be double figures. I expect it to be double figures. And if it's a sloppy start, I'll make subs and you come off because it's sloppy, because you've been sloppy. And there's no need for that, because you're better, right? You're better. But it's your standards that you're going to set yourselves and each other. Yeah, is you go again, you go out second half, and they go, fucking hell, these are relentless. And that's what it's got to be. That's what it has to be. There's no resting on your mould yeah that's it we go again but everything ups now everything ups you've got away with being sloppy I feel I feel you've got away with being sloppy that, 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 they're poor but they're not the worst team you play they're not the worst they run around and they be a bit cause you a few problems here and there but we have to be better as a group yeah we have to be better we've got enough to win games all the time yeah but I want us to see us be better that's what I'm talking at the start about 4-3-3 three, three. just be a typical 4-3-3 three, three like what everyone else plays. I don't see anything different from us. Yeah, Shams have stayed out wide. I thought he was really poor, Shams. Yeah, it was the quality on the ball, everything about it. Then one good thing, yeah, one good thing, one layoff sets up the goal, and then you go and get a goal, then you spur it into life. That has to come from the start. Everyone has to think, now, I don't want to play against him. I don't want to play against him. Yeah, you've wasted 25 minutes, and you've got two goals. you wasted 25 minutes, so most people are having four goals. Yeah, that's the standards you have to set yourself. From the, from the start. He would do it, you can see it straight away. You can, you can see it straight away. There's others that would do it, but you can see straight away, he wants to go again, wants to go again. It's relentless, it's relentless. And that's how we've got to be. Don't kill the game. Free kicks, dead free kicks, get the ball down, play again. Yeah, don't think because it's 5 0 up. 80 minutes, 80 minutes will allow you to do it. Yeah, once the game is completely dead and flat and gone. Yeah, but why are you 3 4 0 up? You go again, you yeah, get another one because they don't know what's going on. You go again, ball down play, throw in, run to the ball, get the ball in play. Make sure we come out the other way. As soon as they press high, don't they? Yeah, they, they, they just go, don't they? Yeah. So, it, like I say, it's two touch. It's that, seeing that picture, it has to be cookie, like release yourself. Yeah, don't come and get the ball. Yeah, allow them to do it. I know that's what you've been doing in previous games, but you've just got to trust them to run away in space. Then it's into cookie, then it's the movement up front. Yeah. You make it big, come out into in. Yeah. Lids runs away from the ball, comes in, it's a slot in. It's, there's loads of goals there. There's loads of goals there, but make sure you're on it. Make sure you're on it. And stop stitching f***ing Jack up. Pat, Josh has done you today, isn't he? Josh has done you today. F***ing how he normally does you. F***ing leave him alone, seriously. But no, good. <laughs> but good, wait, let's go, let's go. There's a hat trick coming. 
I bloody hope so. Hat trick of giving bet, the ball away. Bet, or hat trick of goals. That's already happened, hasn't he's, it? He's <laughs> scored more than more times he's kept the ball so far. Better game. No goal. <laughs> Second assist for you, Cooks or first? I didn't know you First assist, gobble them up, don't we, Jacko? Gobble them up, mate. Middle of the goal, lovely. Look at him, he's worried about gold's golden boot now. Wait, what are you on? What are you on? What are you on? Nine now. I'm on six. Double figures today. I'm on seven. What, just out of, of all time? We've got an assist today, so do you know what I mean? We're going, for, we're going up the ladder. <laughs> we're improving. One assist. <laughs> that was lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's I've never seen you at the ball like that. What was that thing about? Yeah, I've never seen you at the ball. The ball in the first up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that, was like, that was like primacy area, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. you rolled it that. under him. <laughs> Deal with that. Champagne stuff, isn't it? See, Invincible he's stuff. Like the it's just nothing. There's no point in us flying into tackles now because they're just going to boot us up in the air. Mm. Game's done, isn't it? Hey, get us in then. Come on. Yeah. Boys, got the bounce. Come on. Come on then. Yes, oh, in you come. It's one of them where you can't think about it. Is that Go first goal for Farnham? First goal for Farnham, yeah. Go again. Go More again. to come. Straight in, boys. Put it in for 20. Come on, you boys, eh? Come on. Intensity, yeah? Owen Dean plays Adam Liddell. It's back to Liddell. His shot straight at the keeper, but it's a nice move from Farnham Town. He's found Karoma, spreads the play. Owen Dean one-on-one. -on -one. He's whipped it in for Harry Cooksley. Header goes wide. Owen finds Adam Liddell. Liddell's driving into the box. He finds Jackson. Joe Jackson leans back, puts the ball over. Oh, yeah. You're on the line. Oh, the shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were sweating by that tent, you? Yeah, yeah, we're Jack done. He's like, first of all, he's like, go on. Go on. Flatman could be in here. First touch. Oh. Just off the bench, and his first touch almost resulted in a goal. Jack Dean plays it forward. A lot of space here for Lewis Flatman. It's bouncing. He strikes it. It's saved. Liddell can't quite get the follow up. Milbrook are in here. Brilliant tackle from Leyland. Meaton into Jackson. Jackson finds Edwards. Edwards plays it in. And Flatman puts it in. On his return to Farnham action. It's Lewis Flatman who adds the sixth. It's a brilliant ball in by Shamal Edwards with his left. Flatman guides it home. It's a, it's a finish that's a lot harder than it looks. Jackson plays Flatman. Can he deliver? Outside of the boot. Owen Dean should do better. It's Joe Jackson. Into Saunders. Saunders back to Jackson. It's seven. Saunders lays off Jackson. Falling to Saunders. He's played in Kaitana. Oh. Little. Saunders leaves it for Tanner. Yeah! He's done it! Kai Tanner gets his first goal for Farnham Town. It's a moment that will mean a lot to him. And so ends the second qualifying round of the Vars. Farnham advance. It's a comfortable day. Farnham Town 8, Millbrook 0. Yes, sir! Another dub! No hat trick there. I never get them. I'll take two goals to assist them. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Team player. Yeah. You were shooting from everywhere. Yeah, Everyone was just sitting up perfect, so I thought. Come on, the shearer. Hi. Fine, mate. Fine. I think it's the new pads.
New pads, let's have a look. It's me and Char, new pads. It's them bad boys. <laughs> Oh, right, second half. Oh, right, second half, yeah. So much better. That's what it's about. The passing and the moving, and we've got the goals. Keepers pulled off a few weldies to keep the score down, yeah, which we wanted double figures. But the second half, so much better, yeah. We move on now. Saturday, Fleet, oh, yeah, that'd be a good game. Yeah, big game. they would be a big crowd. They want to keep the shit. Yeah, we go there, we turn up, and we turn it on. Yeah, well done, boys. in the FA Vars. Jono, you must be very happy with that. Yep, job done. Into the next round, that's what it's all about at the start of the day. And uh, yeah, we come for it unscathed. And then just a quick word for Josh. Um, he signed this week and he did really well out there. Yeah, not met, not met the boys. Um, come straight in, threw him in at left back. You know, Tough match. position to sort of yeah, come in and play. Yeah, especially being right footed and being naturally a centre half. But um, yeah, he's come in straight away and you can see the quality that he had with the ball. He knows the pass and he sees the pass. And also, you know, I think you mentioned it a little bit earlier, his heading, you know, I don't think he lost, lost one in the air. And then on to Fleet we go. So Fleet we go, yeah. A good game. It'd be feisty. Derby, Derby feisty. They'll have a good crowd. We'll hopefully take a good back in. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that. Back to the league. Back to the league. That's <laughs> what I want, mate. To Vars, we'll park that for a month. We'll park that for a month and yeah, league. Draw a Monday, home draw you want, actually. Yeah, you know, you take one. Take what you get in the cup. Um, need a little bit of luck, hopefully, we get home draw and uh, yeah, see where it takes us. Sweet, Good nice man. one, cheers. Well, what can I say? I called at the start for players needing to focus, and Millbrook were going to be up for it, and they really were. First sort of 10 15 minutes, it was, it was a game that could have gone either way. We didn't really assert ourselves, we looked cautious, slightly off the pace, and then once we got one, we got two, and it just kept going really, and we, we showed our quality. but. Um, credit to Millbrook, Millbrook. They they fought to the end. They they didn't really give up, which is you know credit when you're six, seven, nil down, or five nil down at half time. You know it's easy for you to chuck it all in. I don't know what the attendance figure was tonight, but uh, I mean I think it was in the mid sort of 300s, but I, I wouldn't want to commit to that. So another great attendance, um, and we're through to the next round of the bars, which is the main thing, and we can focus our attention finally back to the league because my god it's been a it's been a while it's been the, since the 9th of september that we played our last league game and it will be the 30th when we play our next one which is next saturday away at fleet town we need your support this is a local derby it's one that they'll be really up for away at fleet town they normally get good attendances can we help them as well get people through the gate cheering on final town let's not be outnumbered we'll see you down there three o'clock at fleet town Let's go and win another one.